Chris, thank you. Across the upstate, bar owners say their businesses are struggling and some are even having to shut down because of a new South Carolina liquor law. That recently passed law has had several unintended consequences. WYFF News 4's Peyton Furtado is live with what they are. Peyton? Well, Carol, it all goes back to 2014 when a deadly car accident involving a police officer who was on duty ended up killing uh, two passengers. Uh, the driver in that incident, not the police officer, the driver had been drinking. Uh, the driver and all the bars they had gone to before this incident were all uninsured. Uh, this law went into place soon after the fact and addresses this, basically requiring any place that serves alcohol to have to have at least a million dollars worth of coverage. Memorial Auditorium hosts Broadway shows and concerts, serving up entertainment to the area community. One thing it didn't serve up this week, alcohol. Their liquor liability insurance dropped them, and until they find a new provider? Our food and beverage uh, income is going to drop by 75, 80 percent. I mean, it's huge. And now Newton says their insurance could go from $1,200 a year to $100,000. If they don't get the license, they could lose big name acts and Broadway shows. If they do, they'll have to find other ways to cover the cost. We can only charge so much for a beer. Right now we're at $13 for a 25 ounce beer. And at some point, the public will only pay so much. Their insurance firm was one of many pulling out of South Carolina altogether. You can't pay out. $3 for every dollar you take in and stay in business. Insurance firm owner and state senator Ross Turner says this coverage increase, along with a law about who's at fault for crashes, forced insurance price hikes. Some guy that had a wreck at 12 o'clock at night but was in your bar from 5 to 6 and had one beer and you did absolutely nothing wrong, but the wreck was horrific enough at midnight that they come back and name you in the suit and your insurance company basically has to immediately yield the million dollars. And while bar owners like Nick Conti train their bartenders not to overserve, they can't always control a customer's actions. Someone out in the parking lot could take prescription medication before they come in and drink. We would have no way of knowing that, and only if they showed any effects while they were in our establishment would we really know. Turner says several of his constituents have reached out to him about this. This is one of his first priorities when the session starts back in January. But first, a bill would need to make its way through the Judiciary Committee in South Carolina. Live in Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtado for WYFF News 4.